Working of the traffic lights Traffic lights are usually controlled by a controller that is mounted inside the traffic light cabinet. Traditionally, electromechanical controllers were used for traffic lights. They were increasingly being replaced by signal controller boxes. Modern traffic lights have solid state controllers. The traffic light cabinet contains a power panel, a detector interface panel, amplifiers, controller, flash transfer, relays, etc. It also contains a separate panel which can be used by the traffic controllers or the traffic police to activate or deactivate the traffic light system. The solid state controller comes with its own CMU, conflict monitoring unit. The CMU is placed to reduce the chances of failure in the traffic lights. So, if there is any error in the system, instead of giving erratic signals, the traffic light system will flash the red light to indicate a failure in the system. Earlier traffic lights worked on electromechanical controllers that consisted of moving parts, such as cams, dials and shafts. They also used electrical relays. Now, with modern systems operated through computers, real-time coordinated controlling of traffic lights is possible. The efficient working of the traffic light system is of the utmost importance to ensure road traffic safety for vehicles as well as pedestrians. Bulgin provides connectivity solutions that are ideal for outdoor conditions and can be efficiently used for connectivity in the traffic light system. Circular power connectors, as well as circular data connectors with a high IP rating, are manufactured so that connectivity, even in the harshest environments, is not compromised. To read the blog post this video is based on, and to find out more about Bulgin's connectivity solutions, please visit bulgin.com.